Just got this in the mail. Let me check this thing out. This collection system, I guess, for turning spindles and stuff. I do, uh, I plan on doing more pepper mills and stuff, so this might work out pretty well. Here, look at that. Looks like for pens too, pen mantle in there. Hey, well, let's, let's go to a table maybe and get away from the lathe where we can open this up and check it out. Okay, I moved over to the workbench. By the way, this is where my old lady used to be. See, I still have the, my bench top lady used to be here. Still have the holes in the bench. Let's see. Open this baby up. This knife, by the way, uh, Concord. Nice little, great to have when you're Only one hand. There you go. Packing list, parts list. pictures that are on the box. Empty bag. Maybe this was in there, I guess. I okay. hope there's nothing missing. Oh, it looks like a cleat for the lid. Hopefully that fits my way. Bar. This reminds me of the, I don't know why, reminds me of the, reminds me of the bar that came with this thing. I don't know why, it's just heavy like that. Good. Do a check off one dust scoop, one port boom arm. I guess that's this thing. And a post. I'm assuming this is the post. Yep. Oh yeah, there we go. Let's see. Uh, number two. Yeah, the boom arm. I was right. See, number two. Number two. Number three, number three. Jeez. Make it easy for us idiots. Tell my garage is on a slant. See that? I'm going to shim the leg on this thing. Let me put that on the other side. Um, what is this? Oh, this is the. Oh. Number six. I didn't get number six. Oh, two and a half inch flex form dust hose. I guess that's it. This must increase in does it stretch or something? So it looks awfully bigger than that picture. Hmm. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at it. it's like a bendy straw. Oh my god, that's so cool. The world's biggest bendy straw. Holy crap. <laughs> My granddaughter should see this. Holy crap, she'd love this thing. It's the world's biggest bendy straw. I love it. Yeah, I guess I, I, mean, I don't need to get those last two, a couple things. Get those later. Okay, and this is number four. Adjustable connection plate. This 
this is like a fist rest on the bathe, bathe, ugh. lay the bed. I was gonna say the bed, the bathe lid. <laughs> okay, and pause the clamp. I guess it's number seven. It is. Number seven. Number seven. Hose clamp. Hose clamp. Okay. Number five. Oh, a stepped plate, they call it. I always call this like a, a cleat. I don't know why. So, okay. I've heard other people call them cleats, maybe. And these thingies. Number. Yeah, a bunch of hardware. It's a big screw. What am I doing? Jeez, I got my uh, wrong illegal knife I pulled out of my pocket. Sorry. This one. This is the, the correct illegal knife that I'm looking for. It'll be at my door. Now, let me see if I post this video. Okay. There. There. A couple of washers. Okay. Well, let me, uh, I'm sure you don't want to watch me put this whole friggin' thing together. So, uh, I'll just put it together and I'll try to mount it and then uh, we'll see how it works. How's that? Sounds like a plan? I'm sure you guys could probably figure out how to put this together on your own. It's not that hard. It comes with instructions. All right. Well, we have to mount. Oh, geez. Not much of instructions. Really, there it is. Parts list. One, this tool is this for this. Number. Oh, where's our safety? This has, this is more like uh, operational safety instructions and stuff, but uh, there's no real assembly instruction unless it's uh, on the bottom. Well, they show up here. It's pretty simple. Like, come on. If you can't figure out how to put that together, you, know, you shouldn't be doing any, you shouldn't be touching any tools. It's not that hard. But yeah, I'm, I'm surprised you didn't come with any instructions at all, but that's fine. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, here. I have a uh, pepper mill I've been working on. I figured it would be a good, uh, Good demo of this thing. I've been sanding a little bit and then I realized, oh wait, I should film this. Continue my other video. I have it set up. The only complaint I got is this knob. I gotta turn it and make sure it's like, you know, I don't know, it gets really close to the work. If you want if you want to get close, it's a pain in the butt. Cause it, well, I guess it's the way I got it set up here too with this uh, face plate and I got this chunk of wood that wedges into the bottom of my uh, pepper mill so I can spin it and sand it. Uh, there it is, I got a hook there, got there, it goes all the way over there. Down and around she goes, up to my big old barrel. This is like my, uh, my junk pile on top of this thing, but there's the, uh, oh my God, the dust deputy right there. I forgot the name of it. And, then, and over here, and so far so good. Yeah, man, look at the bottom. Hardly any dust there, and I've been sanding for quite a while. One thing I noticed is uh, if you have it set up on the side here, like I do, it's best to hold your sandpaper underneath. So this way the dust goes straight into that chute and it'll get sucked up. I've seen other uh, setups where they lower this down and they have it like cupped underneath here. That might be even a better. Uh, idea, but this is working for me so far. And uh, there, I'll fire this thing up and I'll show you how it works. I might, uh, in this next bit, I might just kill the sound in the video because all you're going to hear is my uh, my shop vac going and of course the lathe going. Okay.
Well, there you have it. So far, so good. I mean, normally when I'm sanding like this, I mean, first, uh, I'm not wearing a respirator right now, which I probably should, but I don't think I need to right now. Because I honestly, I think all the, just about, I'd say 99 or 98% of that dust is going right into there. And um, usually, I mean, I got a nice coat. I mean, this would be just covered in a fine film of sawdust, like really fine powdery stuff. And and not only here, it would get everywhere. See, like there's my, uh, I was thick thickness planer there. I have to keep it covered next to the lathe here because otherwise that thing just gets bombarded with dust when I'm sanding. It's ridiculous. And uh, yeah, no dust. It's all going right in there and right into my dust deputy over there. So yeah, I highly recommend this thing. It's awesome. Have fun guys.